Now we've talked about the best hotels and the worst hotels in Vegas and I'm pretty sure by this point most people have an idea of what they think the best hotels are, what the worst hotels are, and how they will rank those accordingly. But what about the best rooms and suites? And that's what I wanted to talk about in today's video, my top 10 Vegas suites that I've stayed in to this point. Now I've stayed in over 140 rooms and suites and specifically over 50 suites and I've never really thought about where I would rank my top 10 suites because hotels are much easier to do. But this was actually more difficult than I thought it would be. It took me over an hour to come up with this list. And even now, as I'm looking at this list, I'm not even sure that I'm 100% sold. So as I start naming some of these suites, I may at the last minute call an audible and change the play on which suites I have ranked. Um, but these suites are going to fall over $500 a night. That's just the price range that these suites are going to go into if you are not a rewards member. And for those of you who are like, well, who has $500 a night? That's a crazy budget. If you're going to Vegas with a group of at least three or more, a lot of these suites may be more affordable than you think, because if you take $500 a night and divide that by three, that's less than $170 a night. So if you're staying for two or three nights, you're talking about less than four or $500 per person for the trip. Now I have a link in the description for all of these suites so you can check out these suites in their entirety after you're done with this video, in case you might not be familiar with some of these suites. Let's go ahead and get into this top 10 list and maybe some of these suites might catch your attention for a future trip. Now, at the number 10 spot, I have the Center Suite Strip View at Aria. Now, most people when it comes to suites at Aria are familiar with the Corner Suite Strip View, the one with the bed facing the window, and that's a beautiful suite. But once I got to stay in this Center Suite Strip View room for a Halloween trip, it completely moved up the rank for me. Now, the one big seller point for me in this suite, aside from the space, was the fact that the bedroom has two beds instead of one because in most suites in Vegas when you're standing in the suite you get one king bed so the fact that you get this suite with the space that it have and get two beds instead of one is definitely a plus the bathroom was much nicer than I expected you actually have a really really nice sized bathroom walk-in shower separate water closet jacuzzi tub and then your views that carry over from the living room are in the bathroom so you'll get some strip views from the bathroom and then the living room has got a nice space. You've got the beautiful view of the strip and all of the amenities, the empty mini refrigerator, flat screen TV. It's a really, really nice suite. And I actually had to take the corner suite strip view out of my top 10 list and I had to put this suite into it. So I've got that at the 10 spot. At the number nine spot, I have the Vidara one bedroom law. Now, Vidara, I feel is so underrated. It's an all suite hotel, but it doesn't have a casino sister property to Aria. So I think it's really, really slept on in that regard. Now, I got the chance to stay in this law for one night and I was completely, completely blown away. I was very impressed. You get a full kitchen. So you got a stove, full refrigerator, nice layout. You even get a washer and dryer if you need to wash clothes. The living room space is nice, so you've got a TV, and then you get a pull-out bed, so you actually have an additional bed in here instead of just one bed. And then Vidar in general, you just get good views in every suite that they have there. But with this being a two-story suite, it's just hard to beat. Um, you get your bedroom space on the second level. The bathroom is nice. It's not huge or nothing spectacular, but it's a really nice bathroom. So I had to give this the nod over the 10 spot because of the fact that you get a full kitchen and you get better views and you've got a second story so i gave them the edge over the center suite for that now at the number eight spot the eight and seven spot was a back and forth affair for me but at the number eight spot i have the mgm grand skyline terrace suite now the selling point for this suite for most people who are familiar with this suite without a doubt is the terrace i mean i talk about cosmo all the time one of the biggest reasons why i have it as the best hotel is because you can't beat a balcony well, this is just a designated suite at the MGM Grand. MGM Grand doesn't get moved up a tier like they have balcony suites. This is just a one of a kind suite. Now, I have it at the eight spot because you've got that 400 plus terrace outside. So if you're entertaining guests, you've got that. This is also a two story suite. So in the bottom level, you do have your living room and it's got a nice sectional couch. It's a real good sectional couch. Um, and if you needed a place to sleep, you could actually sleep two people on this sectional couch. It's very comfortable, spacious. Um, you got a good entertainment space. And then on the second level, you actually have your bedroom, which is cool. It's got a nice, comfortable bed and it has a really, really nice bathroom. Now, I'll put this one above the Vidara one bedroom loft because the terrace is just the selling point. Like I said, um, though, you do get a full kitchen in the Vidara suite. The terrace is going to just outblow having a full kitchen. Like it's as simple as that. So there was no way I could put this under the Vidara loft. 
and so i have it at the eight spot and so this is a great suite if you want to entertain people like without a doubt but that's going to be the biggest selling point everything else is nice with it being two stories you got one and a half bathrooms but that's the one thing that i just put it over the edge and so at the number seven spot i have the palazzo lago media suite which is what it was called when i did the one case subscriber special video it is now known as the executive theater one bedroom king suite now this suite i'm not gonna lie to you all is one of my favorite suites to date that i've still stayed in. i don't have it i haven't ranked at the seven spot and i'm just talking personal favorites but i'm trying to be unbiased with this list i'm trying to take a lot of things into account this suite is amazing um, it's an extremely spacious suite all around. As soon as you walk into the suite, it's got a spacious entryway. You've got the half bathroom to the side with the closet. That whole area alone is just spacious. The living room, dining room area is very, very nice. If you want to entertain people, you've got two couches. So if people needed somewhere to sleep, you have two couches for people to sleep on. The media suite is isolated to the side. That space in itself is a really nice space. It's good if you want to watch some type of event, have movie nights during the football season. You got surround sound in this theater. In the bedroom, it's a beautiful bedroom space, comfortable bed. You've got TVs all around. So you can, in essence, get three TVs between the media room, the living room, the bedroom, and then in the bathroom. The bathroom is just absolutely beautiful. Got a nice tub, jetted tub, all of that. This suite is just amazing. And you also either get a pool table or a piano. And most people will prefer to have the pool table. They're both based on availability when you stay. Even though in the Skyline Terrace suite, you get that big outside patio. When I take everything overall, this Palazzo suite just is a notch above the Skyline Terrace suite. I mean, you can comment below, let me know your thoughts. So got that at number seven. Now, this is where things became the more difficult for me and it just really got harder and harder. So at the number six spot for my sixth best suite that I've stayed in to date, I have the Cosmopolitan Wraparound Terrace Suite. Now, the six and five are gonna go back and forth. I'm fine either way to be perfectly honest, but I'm gonna explain my reasonings between both. The Wraparound Suite is just, it's a game changer. Like we already know that I feel the Cosmo is the best hotel in Vegas, most people do. This wraparound suite is one of the best suites that people could stay in in Vegas because of the fact that you have a balcony that literally wraps around the suite. It's just regardless if you're in the living room or if you're in the bedroom, you can step outside and access the balcony and then you can wrap around and walk to either one just from being outside. Smoke on the balcony, smoking is permitted, but then to have the fountain view, the views is just probably the selling point to most people for this suite. It's just not the selling point to me when I look at everything in the totality. You get two full bathrooms in this suite. You got a nice bedroom space that's closed off from the living room. You got a TV in the living room and a TV in the bedroom area. It's a beautiful suite. And I mean, it's something that many people who stay at the Cosmo love. And most people who go to Vegas who want to stay in a nice suite really, really like staying at the suite. There's a reason that this suite is one of the most viewed video out of all of the videos that I've posted on this channel. That should speak to how popular this suite is. So I have the Cosmo at the number six spot. And at the number five spot, where I have the wraparound suite at the sixth spot, I've got the five spot, I've got the Lanai suite at the Cosmo. Now, most people have gone back and forth. I'm like, well, I'd rather have the wraparound suite because of the views and the balcony wrapping around, which is cool. I don't disagree with that at all. I'm perfectly fine with that preference. When I look at overall suite, I've got to give the Lanai the edge. And here's why. Everything that I pointed about, about the wraparound suite, them having the balcony that goes around the suite and the fountain view, like those are major selling points. And some people would prefer that. But when I got to take everything into account overall, I have to give the Lanai suite the edge. One, you also get two full bathrooms in the Lanai suite. But number two, when I talk about space and layout, the Cosmo wraparound suite, it is a nice spacious suite. Cosmo wraparound suite, you don't even really get into like the living room, dining room area till you go through that long walkway. In my opinion, it takes up a big part of the suite. And yes, it looks nice, but that's just wasted space to me, in my opinion, to some degree. Versus with this Lanai suite, once you walk into the suite, you literally are in the suite. The bathroom's immediately to your left or your right, depending on what the layout is. Then you've also got a wet bar as well with an empty mini refrigerator. But you get one TV in the wraparound terrace suite of the Cosmo in your dining room, living room space versus with the Lanai suite, you get two TVs. So you've got one TV in the dining room space. You've got a TV in the living room. But then when you talk about the wraparound suite having a balcony, 
here's where I got to give the edge to Lil Nas. When you go outside, you don't have a balcony, you have a patio. So yes, the wraparound suite has the balcony that you can walk around. The Lil Nas suite has a patio. Now the patio has a hot tub. Like <laughs> we're not talking about a jacuzzi tub. We're talking about an actual hot tub. Like I'm pretty sure most people aren't going to complain about having a hot tub because they don't have a soaking tub. But not only do you get a hot tub, you actually have direct access to the pool. Now, people love the pools in Vegas. That's some people's selling point when it comes to going to Vegas. And then when we talk about the fact that this is a two story suite, you have your bedroom area for privacy on the second level versus behind a private door. And then you actually have a nice bathroom. The walk in shower is massive, it's a huge walk in shower. And then you also have your private water closet. So I. So this hotel that I have at the seven spot, I previously had at the four spot. But as I was doing my explanations for everything, I just got to be unbiased and keep it real. At the number seven spot, I'm moving the Aria one bedroom penthouse panoramic suite. Now I'm moving this from four to seven. So I have this at the number seven spot. Now, number one, they just completely remodeled this suite. The suite is absolutely beautiful. It is a gorgeous suite. Panoramic views from the dining room area through the living room. All the way into the bedroom the views are beautiful um you've got a flat screen tv the wet bar you get an empty mini refrigerator along with the stock mini refrigerator um you've got a comfortable bed in the bedroom it just it's such a beautiful luxury suite um and then the bathroom is beautiful you got a steam shower um, you got the soaking tub in the middle separate water closet like one and a half bathrooms even though you get a two-story suite with the skyline terrace with the mgm grand you've got the outside terrace bathroom is really nice when i look at the overall features like the majority of the square footage is because of the outside terrace where you do get a tv and it's entertaining but i could not put the skyline terrace at mgm grand over the suite at all y'all can comment below let me know if y'all think otherwise but this literally just threw a curveball in the video i've probably been filming for like 15 minutes now and i just had to clip this and redo this because i just did a whole lot of explaining and i just got to keep it un as unbiased as possible so I'm gonna keep the MGM Grand Skyline at eight and I'm gonna move the Aria one bedroom panoramic suite down to seven. <sighs> at the three spot, and this is where now I'm kind of having back and forths again. <laughs> I have, and I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to switch these two. I currently have this as the number two spot, but I'm moving this to the number three spot. The number three in my top three hotels that I've stayed in in Vegas, I'm going to say the Sky Loss at MGM Grand. And I'm gonna explain why. The Sky Loss at MGM Grand, the suite is, this one bedroom loft is massive. It's a, it's a huge suite. You get a butler with this suite. This is top tier suite. But this is my issue with this suite. You get one and a half bathrooms, which is fine. I don't mind that at all. But I was just talking about the wasted space. In the wraparound suite, how I feel like when you walk into the wraparound, you walk, you can literally have to walk <laughs> to actually get to the actual suite. That's how I feel about this one bedroom loft in the sky loft is. You don't have to walk to everything, but downstairs you have a big table. So it'd be great if you're having a conference, but then you just have a TV and the TV is out of date. They've got like a DVD or, or a CD disc, like nobody's listening to CDs no more. And then around you have like a business area, which is cool because I'm pretty sure a lot of people go to Vegas to do business. So like that business space is cool, but it's like they could have done so much more with that space down there. And I know this is a, a suite that was a buy back in the day. And this is the one bedroom loft. I know once you get to the two bedroom lofts, that's when you'll get like a pool table and all of the extra things. But this one bedroom loft, I can't put it at the two spot and it'll make sense when I get to the two spot. But the upstairs is nice. The bedroom is really nice. It's a comfortable bed. Like I said, it's a two story loft, so it's on the second level. I love the infinity tub. The infinity tub is really spacious, easily fits two people. And then you also get a steam shower. But to me, it was kind of weird that the steam shower had like tempered glass. You know, I'm pretty sure most people wouldn't be standing on the stairs trying to look as you take a shower. I would hope not. That's kind of weird. Um, but you get the steam shower and it, <laughs> I, I like the steam showers. The steam showers is so dope. Um, and then they've got an enormous walk-in closet. So um, it's a very, very nice loft. Like I'm not discrediting it whatsoever, but for the price point that you would pay for that loft specifically, yeah, you get a butler, but actually having a butler, I think I used the butler once the whole time I was there. It's a convenient option to have, but just being realistic, most people aren't gonna use the butler service. You just have it if you need it. 
Um, I did like the little peephole that they have on the door. So normally if somebody come into the door, you can look through the peephole, but they got an actual screen. That was, that was kind of cool. But again, what you would pay for the price, that's what you're supposed to have. But I'm moving the one bedroom loft down to three and I'm moving up to two. Number two, I had this at their three spot. But my second best suite that I've stayed in in Vegas is gonna be the executive duplex suite at Caesars Palace. I'm gonna explain why I just flopped these two. Having a butler is cool, that's dope. The, Caes the executive duplex suite at Caesars, it's also two stories. Um, the wasted space that I was talking about downstairs in the Skyloft, they made great use of this space down here. It's very, very nice. On the main level, you have a living room which has two couches and you've got your tv you have a separate dining room area that's got a dining room table it's nice good space over there then you actually have a separate room to the side that has where your wet bar is you've actually got a microwave which most of the suites on this list don't even have you would think you would at least get a microwave at 500 dollars a night um, but you get a microwave and then you have an empty refrigerator so that you can store drinks and things like that um, you also have the half bathroom, so you do get one and a half bathrooms, not two full bathrooms in here. But the bedroom is on the main level. It's a really nice bedroom. The bed was very comfortable. And then off to the side of the bedroom, you have your full bathroom, which has the soak-in tub and your separate water closet and your walk-in shower with dual vanity sink. So all of this is on the main level, so that's a great use of space. Um, and then on the second level, you actually get a pool table and another TV. But with it being on the second level, having a pool table, that just gives you another level and more space for entertainment and another TV. Like, I can't knock that at all. I think that's a better use of space. And it's a really, really nice suite. It's not outdated at all. It goes with the Caesars theme, but it doesn't look old. It actually feels nice to fit the hotel theme. It feels luxurious. Um, so I have to move them to the number two spot when I sit here and think about everything. I've got to put the duplex suite over the one bedroom loft. The loft is going to be more expensive price wise, but I'm going to go ahead and move that to the three and I'm going to move the duplex over the one bedroom loft. And then my number one suite for this top 10 suites that I've stayed in myself personally, my number one suite in Vegas that I've stayed in is the Chelsea penthouse suite at the Cosmopolitan. And this was a no brainer. The one thing that I've been able to say to anybody who asks me, what's the best room or suite that I stayed in in the Chelsea penthouse. This to this day, just thinking about the suite was amazing. I didn't want to leave. When I walked through this suite out of every video that I've done for rooms and suites on this channel, this was the one suite when I walked in, I literally had to freeze for a second because I could not believe how nice it was. Like I couldn't believe I was actually staying in this suite. Me and my guys were there for a couple of days and we still talk about to this day how nice that suite was. The wet bar space is incredible. You've got plenty of counter space. You've got bar stools on the other side. You get a microwave in this suite. You actually have two and a half bathrooms. This is a two bedroom suite, which by far just blows all of the other suites out of the water. Um, you have two full bedrooms. One of the bedrooms actually has a terrace on it. so. You're in the master bedroom. You get a balcony outside of your bedroom. They got a swing in there. Lord knows what people are doing with that swing, but it's there. Um, the bathrooms in both of these bedrooms are just beautiful. Like it, you don't, you can't, either bedroom is a win. It doesn't matter which one you stay in. It's just some people care about the balcony. Some people might not care about the balcony, but that's really the only benefit is one's going to give you the balcony from the bedroom. But man, the suite is amazing. The living room as surround sound with the TV. So no matter what you're watching, you get a theater experience. You got floor to ceiling windows. Man, it's on the 60th floor, it's top level. It's man. <laughs> what a sweet, what a sweet, what a sweet. That's all I can say. I don't even want to spend too much time on it. It's just without a doubt. It's just, it's unreal. And by far the best suite that I've stayed in in Vegas. But this is my list of the top 10 suites in Las Vegas that I've stayed in that would be over $500 a night. If some of you have stayed in some of these suites and you would rank them otherwise, comment, let me know below. Um, if some of you don't think any of these suites are even worth the money, you can comment, let me know that as well. That's gonna do it for this video. If you all enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and as always, thanks for watching.